Okay, so welcome. And now we're going to start talking about conversions from U.S. customary to metric or metric to customary, U.S. customary. Um, the process is exactly the same. The only difference is we just have to know the conversion factors or the unit ratios that we need to use to convert from one unit to the next. So it's just the same as what we would do to convert from one unit to another unit within either the US customary system or in the metric system. But now we're just gonna use conversion factors or unit ratios to help us convert from one metric, one system of measurement to another system of measurement. So the process is exactly the same that we've been doing all along, okay? We just have more conversion factors that we have to know, okay, and be able to use. Okay, so now, um, these are for distance, right? So let's say we want to convert 4.3 yards to meters, okay? So if we want 4.3 yards, right, 4.3 yards equals how many meters, then again, we're just going to use the appropriate conversion factor, which would be this one right here, okay? And so I would start off, again, 4.3 yards over 1, and then multiply by the right unit ratio, which is in this case going to be what? It's going to be 0.9144, so 0.9144 meters over yards. And so again, we end up with meters, and so we just multiply. So it's just going to be 4.3 times 0.9144 meters. And so what do we get? We get approximately um, 3.93 meters or 3.9 if we round. So this is going to be approximately 3.9 meters. Okay? And uh, what about this one? It says convert 2.50 inches to millimeters. Okay, so in this case, if we have 2.50 inches, and we want to find out um, how many millimeters that is. Okay, so if we want to change this to millimeters, then again, we just use the appropriate conversion factor. So we do 0 2.50 inches over one times, now we can go to centimeters by using this conversion factor right here. So, um, or we can use, obviously we're gonna use the unit ratio, which is gonna be one, excuse me, not one, uh, 2.54 centimeters are for every one inch. Okay, so the inches cancel, and now we've got centimeters, but we want millimeters. So now we add another unit ratio that's going to help us convert from centimeters to millimeters, which means that, hey, for uh, there are 10 millimeters for every centimeter. And so the centimeters cancel, and now I just multiply across the top. The one, there, I've got ones on bottom, so that's just going to give me one. So this is going to end up just being... 2.50 times 2.54 times 10 millimeters. And so what does that give me? That gives 63.5 millimeters. So 63.5 millimeters is the answer. And that's it. Have a great day.